In this example, once again, we have uh, variables and exponents all raised to a power. But if I look in here, I see an a squared there and an a to the fourth. And then I see a b right there and right there. And I look at this 12 and this 24. And I realize that a lot of things in here can be simplified. And it's going to be easier if I simplify that first. I could take this 3 here, this power of 3, and start applying it to everything. I could get a 12 cubed, this a squared cubed, b to the negative 1 cubed, and also apply the 3 down here to the 24, and to the a to the 4th cubed, and a b cubed. But it's going to be easier if I simplify all of this stuff first. So we'll do that. So first, let's look at this 12 over 24. You should see that that cancels, leaving us with just a 2 down there. So I'm going to put a 2 down here in the denominator. This a squared and a to the fourth, I can think here, these are both a's, so I look at the exponents, the 2 and the 4. And I think the top minus the bottom. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So I could either write this as a to the negative 2 up there or a to the positive 2 down in the denominator. And it's nice to keep your exponents as positive numbers, so I'll leave it like that. And here, this b to the negative 1, I can imagine moving it down here, making it a b to the positive 1. And that multiplied by that b gives me a b squared. So that leaves me with nothing in the numerator, which really means there's a 1 in the numerator, because this is really like having this whole numerator times a 1 up here, 1 times all of that. So the 1 remains. This is 1 over 2a squared b squared. Now don't forget that all of this is cubed. I still need to put my little cubed right there. So now I can take this cubed and apply it to everything in here. The 1 cubed is just 1. So this is still a 1 over. And then the cubed gets applied to the 2. So the 2 cubed is an 8 right there, 2 times 2 times 2. The cubed gets applied to the a squared. So that gives me a to the power of 6. Because when I do a squared cubed, one exponent raised to the power of another ends up with the exponents being multiplied. And then I apply this cubed to the b squared. And the same thing happens there. I get a b to the 6th. So it's 1 over 8a to the 6th, b to the 6th. That's my final answer.